There has been confusion over when Buncombe County and Asheville City Schools are reopening. In an ACS board meeting on Monday, leaders said that city, county, and charter schools would all resume at the same time. But this afternoon, Buncombe County tells us that is not the case. News 13's Taylor Thompson reports on the latest updates on when you can expect your child to return to the classroom. You can see here behind me, football practice has started back for Buncombe County High School students. Now, this is just one of many extracurricular activities the school system has restarted because while they can't officially set a date for reopening the school system, they are trying to start back extracurriculars to give students a sense of normalcy. In Buncombe County, there are 45 schools, which spokesperson Ken Ulmer says adds a lot of challenges. We've got more than 15,000 miles of roads that our buses take every day. Uh, all those roads are being reassessed. We're having to redraw bus routes. Along with clearing access to all their schools and making repairs on buildings affected by Helene. Obviously the Owen district uh, was hit very hard and also part of the Reynolds district. For Asheville City, Chief of Operations April Dockery says none of their buildings sustained any structural damage and as of Tuesday, all of their schools aside from Hall Fletcher and Lucy Herring have non-potable water. We're working closely with the county emergency team to bring in um, bottled water for our students and staff. Leading the school districts to have different plans of action. Our target date to reopen is October the 28th. Um, we're working diligently to meet that goal that we've set for ourselves. We don't want to put out a date right now that we might be able to beat, and we don't want to put out a date that we might not be able to meet. Buncombe's most notable issue is, of course, water. Once we have that non-potable water all the way across the county from Black Mountain to Candler, we do have a plan in place for potable water to be delivered to all of the schools. And Dockery says to keep in mind that the 28th is a tentative date, not an exact date. We're feeling more and more confident. We just can't confirm that because as we've learned, like so many other things, you've got to be able to pivot and change your plans. Ulmer says that Buncombe is a school system, not a system of schools. We want to be able to open together as a Buncombe County Schools family so um, all students are able to return to learn. And school leaders say they will keep parents informed as they move closer to an official reopening date and will provide a minimum 72 hour notice before restarting. In Buncombe County, I'm Taylor Thompson, News 13.